Greetings YouTube. So for one reason or another I found myself thinking about um, Thundar the Barbarian and his catchphrases, which got me pondering the idea of what would a post-apocalyptic pantheon of gods look like from the takes inspired by the Lords of Light that he would talk about. Um, and this would be to one particular type of culture. This is like the barbarian Thundar culture. So this is not all of them. This is not, there would be no, you know, worldwide pantheon. Each little culture would have their own pantheon of gods based upon whoever helped found that particular group of survivors in that post-apocalyptic setting. Um, so you could have any kinds of things. And I'm going to open this up at the end. But I thought I'd throw something out of the things that inspired the founders of, of Thundar's particular or a generic version of Thundar, their particular culture. Um, so, here's what I came up with, and I just kind of whipped this up off the top of my head. Um, though I did write it down, and I will uh, link the, the uh, what I wrote in the notes. Uh, Superman, the god of justice, and Wonder Woman, the goddess of warriors, reside in the halls of justice, it's heaven, essentially. The dark knight gathers the souls of the just and brings them home. Joker is the god of murder and chaos, though there are those that worship Joker as a trickster. Um, chaotic and dangerous, but not deadly. Um, maybe those that were inspired by the television series. Um, Lady Gaga is the goddess of acceptance and love. Clapton and Aretha are the god and goddess of music. Um, Cheney is the head demon in hell. Rover, Rove harvests the, harvests the souls of the dam. Harvests is hard to say. Um, Bush is the god of fools, and Cock is the god of greed and avarice. Or Coke, I should say. Um, was that a Freudian slip? I'm not sure. Um, but these are just some ideas. These are catchphrases that he could use. You know, like. Oh, I just forget to write one down. I apologize. Which was um, Martin, the tally man. Um, and Martin's job is to. to jot down the names of those that are going to die. So if he could, uh, uh, a Thundar clone could say like, Martin, take your name, signifying to that person that they're about to be put onto the rolls of the dead. Um, um, Rove, take you, which means you're about to go to be taken to hell. Um, uh, uh, may the dark night usher your soul heaven, or to the halls of justice. Um, no, um, spawn of Joker would be a murderer or a killer. Um, Wonder Woman would be a, uh, wear a talisman around their neck, a little Wonder Woman symbol to help protect them in battle. Superman would be those if they would have the S painted on their chest, and they would be fighting for justice. And, uh, often at contention with his wife, Wonder Woman because she is less concerned with justice and more concerned with the, with the articles of war. Sometimes war is ugly. So you could have an entire pantheon. You could, for example, you could have Wolverine in here for the god of barbarians. That wouldn't be a bad choice either. Um, uh, so I want to open this up. Um, what gods would you add to this particular barbarian culture, the Thundar clone uh, culture, um, and what pantheons would you create for other cultures? Um, if you were going to look at, say, the uh, some of the factions from the Gamma world, if, with any of the earlier versions, like, say, uh, the uh, um, first through, say, fourth, the 1992 edition, they all had cryptic alliances. I'm not sure if they, were, they kept cryptic alliances after that or not. I don't, I don't remember. I think they kept them in the D20 version. That was such a I don't remember much about it. It was just poorly done. Um, I did recently encounter a Pathfinder version of Gamma World. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. I'll hopefully get to do that sometime in the future. But um, who would you add to the pantheon of the gods of the apocalypse? Who would be the appropriate um, uh, deities to be worshipped by the survivors of the globe? And, and as a side note, would different cultures call the event that led to the that led to the post apocalyptic world a different thing? Would they call it the glow? Would they call it the event? Would they call it the Red Death? Um, they, 
would they call it? You know, the, the, the sky fire. What would they call it? I think sky fire seems a particularly appropriate to the Thundar clone version I'm talking about here. Um, but there could be lots of different versions of this. Um, and what do they call the people before? The bygones, the ancients, the fools. What do they call them? In, in each, in, in, would each un unique culture have their own names, or would there be a pool of generic names that everyone just pulls from at random, or would be those that are very adamant about what they should be called? I've always used the ancients um, quite a, quite frequently myself, um, just because it seemed appropriate. And I think I've read a number of authors that use it as well. So let's talk about post-apocalyptic 